In these trying times, we are reminded that we have made it into the later portions of November, and once we get to December, things really start clearing up in the NFL. Welcome back to Big Boy Sports, everybody. You already know who I am, so why don't we get into it? We got a game tonight. We got a game tonight. It's not a particularly interesting game because the Falcons got brought right back down to earth by my Dallas Cowboys. We'll talk about the Cowboys in a minute here. But they're going up against the Patriots. Patriots have really improved themselves. In fact, they've really inserted themselves into the playoff hunt. Remember when we thought the Patriots weren't, you know, going to do anything with Mac Jones? Things have changed. Things have definitely changed. Falcons are still in the thick of the playoff hunt. Um, the NFC is deaf. What I've, what I've been thinking, you know, over the past, you know, few weeks is that the NFC really isn't as strong this year as it was, you know, a couple years ago. You know, I mean, the AFC was strong last year. I mean, a, a, a team with a winning record got left out of the playoffs, remember. Go over to the NFC and you had the NFC stinking it up. And the NFC is, just hasn't been as strong this year. I don't understand why. I mean, it, it, I mean, there's definitely been some heavy hitter type games, but I mean, you know, you got the Seahawks that are down, you got the Vikings that should be, you know, better than what they were. Their record should be better than what it shows, just not there. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's going on around here. But this game tonight should be pretty interesting to see. You know, the Falcons, you know, of course we all remember what happened the last time they played the Patriots because I don't think they played the Patriots since the Super Bowl that they blew it. Um... Okay, this is gonna be intriguing. The Falcons, you know, they they gotta get they gotta piece it back together after what happened to them last week. Like, like this that had to have been a wake up call because I mean, again, this is the Falcons we're talking about here. They, they've been blowing leads. I don't know how they were able to come back against Miami. But they've been blowing leads left and right for years and years now. It's gotta stop. Um, the main games on Sunday in the noon slot are not particularly interesting. You know, the Ravens and the Bears, and, and the Packers and the Vikings. Packers-Vikings is a little bit more interesting. That's because, you know, we don't know what kind of game we're going to get with the Vikings. Because, I mean, oh, man, this team is so inconsistent. And the Packers, you know, they are... They gotta be riding high. You know, that defense has been on points this year. Been on point. I mean, if you if you do that to the Seahawks, you know, shut them out like that. I mean, my goodness. And the Bears, I believe they come back off of a bye. So, you know, they're taking on the Ravens and you know, the Ravens have been into some interesting games this year. Like some of these games they got completely blown out the water. Some of these other have been thrillers. I have really no thoughts on this at all. Um it, it's been it's been a weird time for the Ravens. I gotta tell you that much. You know, um, like uh, I think you know I think everything's gelling together well. I mean, if you release Le'Veon Bell like that, you know, where he doesn't really do anything for you, you know, something something's got to be up. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just saying things. I, I really don't know. The game I am kind of interested in though is the Colts and the Bills. I mean, the Colts have. You know, you've got guys like Jack Doyle, Pascal, T.Y. Hilton. Um, you know, I mean, those guys are getting definitely better and better as the season has progressed. And Colts is somehow at 500, I believe, right now. Bills have had some games this year where they should be like, like this team should maybe only have like one or two losses at most, but instead they have like three. You know. It's it's completely unbelievable. So I'm wondering what kind of Josh Allen matchup we get, you know, with Carson Wentz. It's going to be an interesting matchup there. Unfortunately, you got Jonathan Taylor in the backfield for the Colts, who's been tearing it up recently. He's been tearing it up. Like I've, I've been real surprised at what the Colts can do on the ground. They've been tearing it up on the ground lately. How about the Lions taking on the Browns? And I don't know what to say about the Browns now because I mean we all thought you know after Week One they. You know, they were giving Kansas City the fight of their lives, and then, you know, things were looking up for them, and now things are looking down for them. Lions still don't have a victory on the year, and, you know, it is what it is there. I mean, they got a tie. That's that's a tie, you know. Um, Washington and the Panthers is going to be really interesting to see what they can do with Cam Newton. It's going to be Cam Newton going up against Ron Rivera, you know, that old matchup there. Um, 
I'm not sure if Newton is starting or not. I saw a headline somewhere that said he was, but I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Wonder how Washington will do without Chase Young now. You know, that's gonna be one hell of a storyline there to see how this defense can, you know, keep itself together, because I I honestly don't know. The Texans and the Titans, another AFC South matchup for the Titans to just take care of business. This is this Titans team is you know really really risen to the top uh, of the AFC, and they they done it with style. Like my goodness, like despite the fact that Derrick Henry got hurt, everybody else has been stepping up. You know, despite the fact that this defense at times didn't look like a competent defense, they've really stepped it up. The Texans are just in a hogwash of, you know, a season where I just don't know what to say about them that hasn't already been said. That's just completely negative. It, it's just, ugh. 49ers Jags is going to be interesting too, not for the right reasons, you know, it's probably... It's probably about that time for the season, to, you know, time to open up the bars, Urban. Time to open up the bars. Because, I mean, the Jags are the Jags. I mean, they surprised some people, you know, they got like two wins now. But at, at times, you know, it's, we remember, it is the Jags, right? It is the Jags. 49ers are very inconsistent themselves, you know. Like, Jimmy Garoppolo can play that damn good against the gets the Rams one week and then he'll play like shit next so you know if he plays like garbage in this game I'm gonna be really upset I'm gonna be really upset I'm gonna be really upset at this 49ers team who by the way still has a strong defense very strong defense I mean it's just the offense is so inept you know like you got Debo Samuel out there just you know he's probably on an island right now just wondering where everybody at Dolphins-Jets is also going to be a game that's going to happen. I don't know why it's going to happen, but it's a game that's going to happen. You know, again, a lot, a lot lighter, in my opinion, this week 11 slate, in my opinion. Just just, just my opinion here. Um, you know, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. The Dolphins are trying to save their season. They, they're 3-7 and seven right now. Or is it 2-7? and 3-7, three, three and seven, I believe. And the Jets, you know, they're the Jets, you know. They got Joe Flacco of all guys starting. Joe Flacco, I know, right? Isn't he elite? You know that that guy by the name of Joe Flacco. Isn't he elite? Um, Saints Eagles to round out the noon slate. You know, I'm, I'm wondering, you know, what kind of Saints game are we going to get? Because I mean, remember, the injuries have really piled up on the Saints this year. I mean, to take some hill out at one point, you got Jameis. Winston out, you know, for the season. Alpha Kamara's been hurt. He's been banged up. I think he might be banged up for this game as well. I mean, the Eagles are looking pretty nice under Jalen Hurts. They're looking pretty nice now. I know a lot of people are saying, oh, well, next NFL draft, somebody's going to be drafted to replace Jalen. And, you know, I hope that I hope that's a big disagreement because, I mean, Dude, dude is talented. Dude is talented. But, I mean, things around the Eagles organization has broken this team. Same thing with the Giants. Same same thing. Same thing. The, those two teams are basically the same team. Just fundamentally broken. And their fans don't know how to accept that. Uh, and I'm speaking from the perspective of a Cowboys fan. Like, team's broken for 30, for damn near 30 years. <laughs> just, just inept. You know, but, I mean... We'll talk about we'll talk about the Cowboys after we talk about the Bengals and the Raiders. Bengals Raiders is going to be a real real intriguing one here. Like um, like I don't know like the Ra the Raiders you know they they did not look good last week. I, I really thought they had turned the tide around. You know Bengals too. I thought they turned the tide around, but I mean they got they got blasted by the Browns. They they they, they, they did. They really really did. And. You know, when you think about this type of matchup, this is a matchup that's going to separate some things. Going to separate a, going to separate these two teams in a way to where it's going to be like, hmm, who, who, this is this is a playoff. This is this is a playoff game in the regular season right here. This is a playoff game in the regular season because I mean, again, the AFC has been really really tight this year. Really really tight. Like I think there might be a team with a winning record that'll miss the playoffs. That's again. And that's just me saying it. I gotta think that'll happen again. So this is a big, this is a big time game, a big 
time game for these two teams as they continue to roll through their seasons. You know, they've been, again, Bengals and Raiders are kind of inconsistent, you know, but I mean, they're, they're two teams that, you know, just, I mean, again, this match is going to be really interesting to see how the psychology of Derek Carr and Joe Burrow. This, this, this type of matchup that, you know, just make memories of, that you can just make memories of. Cowboys and Chiefs, I know this is going to be a ratings bonanza. I know this is going to be, you know, probably, this is probably going to be the number one game of the season based on who's going to watch it. I mean, my goodness. My goodness. You you, you already know. You already know what time it is. Talk about the Dallas Cowboys led by Dak Prescott. Boy, boy, oh boy. Most complete game of the season last week against Falcons. Can they do it again against the Chiefs? Chiefs, you know, they, they finally look back up the form. Last week, they, like they, okay, I don't know what their deep, I don't know what was in the defenses, you know, dinner meal or something like that. But, I mean, they got it together last week. They got it together. They pounded the Raiders hard. They pounded them, like they pounded them back into looking like trash. And I mean, with, with the way you know, with the way things are, you, you again, I mean, you got to defend Tyreek Hill. You got to defend Travis Kelsey. You got to, you got to defend Miko Harmon. You got, you got to defend these guys. You, you got to be wary for Patrick Mahomes doing some no trick nonsense. You know, maybe Trayvon Diggs can intercept one of those no look passes or whatever. But I mean, again, I'm in for I'm in for a good one here. This one's gonna be really really fun. I cannot wait for this on Sunday. My goodness, you you already know how, how this team operates. You know, with for the Cowboys um, with you know Cooper and, 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 and Lamb. I mean. You know, things have just been looking mighty bright for the Cowboys this year. Uh, so Broncos game notwithstanding. I don't know what that was. Um, Cardinals and Seahawks. Like, the Cardinals, you know, they. I'm not sure if DeAndre Hopkins and Kyler Murray are back yet. I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up at some point. But the Seahawks, this season is basically over. I mean, Russell Wilson came back. I thought this was going to be a good chance for the Seahawks to regain some momentum by maybe beating the Packers, but no, that didn't happen. That did not happen. I think the season is pretty much done. We could really just stop talking about the Seahawks at this point. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. They're not, I don't think they're going to be able to climb out the hole that they're in because of what happened to Russell Wilson. I just don't think that. You know, and if push comes to shove and Colt McCoy, you know, starts again, I, I for the guards, I, I, I genuinely don't know. I genuinely don't know how this game is going to go. I feel like the Seahawks need to just, you know, I mean, they played good on defense last week, but I mean, it's still the same issues with the Seahawks. Like, the offense just isn't, you know, completely there. It's, it, it, like, the O-line, you, you know how Russell Wilson had to run. He's been running behind an O-line that can't save him for years. So, things come to shove again. If push comes to shove again, I, I'm, I'm kind of worried. Kind of worried about the Seahawks, in all honesty. Steelers Chargers is going to be a weird one for Sunday night. Going to be a weird game because both these teams are looking to gain some momentum back themselves. You know, you know. I mean, it's going to be a weird one. You know, Big Ben tested positive for COVID, so I'm not sure if he'll be back. You know, I know there's like a 10, 14 day period, so we might be back for this game. Justin Herbert, on the other hand, for the Chargers, you know, you know how things go. You know how things have been going for the Chargers. Like it's been weird lately for the Chargers. I thought this team too was going to be much better than they are, but yet here we are. You know, they they sit, they do not sit at the top of the AFC West anymore. That's the Chiefs. Yeah, so you know, this is going to be a big momentum boost for either of these two teams if they can get some momentum going. Because I mean, again, the Chargers at times have not looked the greatest on defense. Same thing for the Steelers' offense. Haven't looked the greatest at times. You know, just looked anemic, looked out of shape, out of just sluggish, just not all the way there. And the Giants and Bucks to end off, you know, on Monday night again. I don't know how this game is going to go. I mean, we we've seen the we've seen the Giants, you know, just play some damn good games. We've seen them be the Giants. You know, and the Bucks. You know, they 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 got surprised last week. They got really, really surprised by, by Washington last week. I, I did not expect Taylor Heineke and company to do that to Tom Brady, but I'm, 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 I'm expecting Brady and company to bounce back. Watch me probably be wrong, 
and the Giants, you know, somehow come out with a victory. But I mean, I'm expecting Bray and Godwin and all those guys to be coming back, you know, in full force. It's going to be an interesting Monday night matchup to end it off. So, that's it. There's nothing else for me to really say because we're going to get on ahead and get started with this weekend of great football action. It already started on Tuesday night, you know, with college football. But, I mean, tonight is going to be, again, it's going to be real, real interesting to see how things go for, you know, the Falcons. Because, you know, I mean, I, I genuinely don't know, you know. What, 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 what what's going to happen, you know, with these playoff pitchers, because I mean, playoff pitchers are all so mumbled and jumbled to where it's like, wow, wow, this is crazy stuff. And a lot of these teams are battling kinds of, all kinds of injuries, like, my goodness, I'm, I haven't seen this many injuries in such a long time. You know, it's been a, it's been a weird season with all these injuries, too. And again, AFC, you know, uh, uh, I'm still thinking the AFC is better than the NFC right now. That's what, that's what my thoughts on you know everything has been. But we'll see you know how things go. Um, you know this week, um, unfortunately, you know, hopefully, um, you know, um, the girlfriend of Zach Stacy. I hope she's all right. I hope Zach Stacy is in jail. I'll say that much right now about that. But for the rest of y'all, I will see you all very very soon with more of, you know, what I got to say. Big Boy Sports is signing out, and I will see you late Saturday night. Take care, everybody.